Greetings, everyone. Once again, this is LRL Dunlap Jr. coming up to you with the only it fellow uncompromised and other dust radio rich word of God. We greet you from God the Father and from his son Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Jesus Christ is alive and is now set on the right hand of the Father according to the scripture. We greet you all today. God bless you. We thank all of you for viewing. I want to talk to you. And you all you, all you see it. I want to give you a message directly from Jesus. And it's no it is not a new message. It's not, it, it's not no new rain of word. But it's the same message. That you heard from the beginning then. Yeah, God, you know it. If you're saved, you know it. You know it. Now, once you, you left your first love, you preachers watching me. You preachers watching me. Presiding bishops. Bishops, elders, deacons, missionaries, servants, whatever. You left your first love. You left God. You left Jesus. Hallelujah. In 1 John 2, 21. 1 John 2, 21. It says... I have not written unto you because you know not the truth, but because you know it and no lie is of the truth. You know the truth. You know the truth. You, you that don't know the truth, but, but you know it. You that don't know the truth, you uh, look, look. Jesus is coming. Jesus is coming. You better appear of your sin. You know what sin is. I don't have to go through a whole lot of. You know what you know when you do it wrong. Now some of you were saved. Some of you were, I mean, truly saved for real. Living, some of you were living perfect. Some of you were living perfect. The way Jesus told you to live, you were living perfect. You know, you know, you know you be doing all right until somebody, until somebody remind you. Not somebody, I remember a year ago somebody told me. Oh, all right, uh, brother, don't forget, you still human, don't forget. You know you, you know you can live with God all right. Then folk come preaching weakness to you. You're still human, wait a minute. You got a new life now. You've been born again now. And I told somebody or, or something I don't know. There is no sin in the new birth. The sin is in the old birth. That you were born without your mother's womb. You were born in sin from all of us were born in sin from our mother's womb. We were born in sin. Now Jesus said you must be born again. Ain't no you born again, you ain't born in no sin. You ain't born in sin, born of God. You ain't born in sin. Your nature is to do right now. <laughs> Let me go here before we before we go here. Now, this, what I, what I'm reading to you, what I'm getting ready to read to you. 
the same thing with these people that Jesus was talking to. You doing the same thing. So is to you too. The scripture is for everybody. Let me show you something. You in church. You go, I know some don't go to church. I know some don't go to church. So I, I went some play one time in. You know, all the folk, yeah, we, we, we know something about church. Uh, you know, we know something about it. Folks our age. But you got folks never been in church. Know nothing. Absolutely nothing about church. And you gotta reach them. I, I went to went to a I went to juvenile court last year with the team to minister up in that. And these, and these young teenagers. And Warren said, well, we, we uh, asked a question. You know, well, I heard something about God, but I don't know. I, I wasn't preaching, but I was with the team. So you, know, you know I want to jump up and give them a lesson. <laughs> but the one that spoke, he let that opportunity went away. He let the opportunity went away. You got the people. People don't. It's some do do not know nothing about God. They don't know nothing. It's some um, actually think they gonna be smoking blunts in heaven. It's all. It's all um, actually think to pop. It's up in here having, having a hip hop heaven. They ignorant. They don't know. You got to take time and teach them. Open up that Bible. How you get here. Who made you? The one that made you. They gave you instructions. God, God had instructions for you. When you leave here, it ain't over. You got to live a certain way of the one who made you live. I mean, some look, people serving the servant, serving. Sometimes, sometimes you got to go all the way back from elementary. Well, who is Jesus? Oh. Sometimes you got to go all the way back from elementary. Like the Apostle Paul did when he went to the certain place and they had shrines and stuff to, to all different kind of gods. And they ignorantly had a sign to the unknown God. Sometimes you got to go all the way back. Can you talk to somebody that, that, that never heard nothing about Jesus before? Can you go all the way back from the beginning of Adam and Eve? Number one, that's how they got here. To Adam and Eve. Can you go all the way back and tell them what, what God required of Adam and Eve? Can you go all the way back and tell them what Adam and Eve didn't do right? Can you go all the way back and tell them that will cause sin into the world? That will cause us to be born in sin? Can you go all the way back and tell them? But God sent Jesus. And God had commandments from the beginning on things that you must do to please him. He that made you and not you yourself. He got commandments you must follow. Can you go all the way back and explain all that? <laughs> let, let, let me go on. I'll be on here for hours. Let me go on. I ain't even I ate my dinner yet. It, it folk never heard. It folk know nothing about that. It, 
Know nothing about to you. Know nothing about what you're talking about. All they know is Kurt Frank. <clears throat> and Nicki Minaj with the, with the other girl and Snoop Doggy and Dog. And, oh, uh, what's it? What? Kanye, so I heard on radio, Con, uh, some guy got out of jail. He went to Con, Conway, Con, Kanye West Church. They have no idea. Some of these young folk have no idea. Can you deal with it? You need to deal with don't. You come in contact with young folk, sit them down and tell them. Teach them. Come on. In the book of Revelation. Chapter number one. Now a lot of you would really say. A lot of you would do it right. Look what Jesus said. My glasses. Let's try to do this without my glasses. Look at what Jesus said. Number one. Chapter number one. And let us begin with verse 9. I, John, who also am your brother <coughs> and companion, companion in tribulation and in the kingdom and patient of Jesus Christ who was in the isle of called Patmos for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. I, John, who am also your brother they knew John. I, I'm your brother. Lisa, your sister. Hey, Scotty, hey, your brother. Lord, son, your sister. Y'all know. No, no y'all don't have nothing to do with us now. We want to refresh your memory. I was in the spirit on the Lord's day and heard behind me a great voice as of a trumpet saying, I'm Alpha and Omega, the first and the last. And, look, let me get my class. And the, and what thou see it written in the book, write it in the book, and see it in unto seven churches which I in Asia, unto Ephesus, on the Smyrna, on the Pergamon, on the Thyatira, on the Sardis, on the Philadelphia, and Laodicea. Whatever the name of your church is, put your church in there. God don't have no different standards for different churches. God requires the same thing for everybody. For everybody. I don't do organized religion. The same thing goes for you. You better obey this. You better repel your sin. You better plead Jesus to keep the commandment. Let me get my glass. <clears throat> Hallelujah. It will happen when you do live. See, if I'm recording, I can. Because <laughs> I'm recording, all I'm recording for, for YouTube. Now, verse 20, it, 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 I mean, it says, The mystery of the seven stars which thou saw in my right hand. You still, you backslid, your hell, your, 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 your left foul probably coming in your church, everything Jesus told you not to do, you doing that, you're disobedient. You still in his hand right now. He gonna get rid of you. The mystery of the seven stars with thou sword in my right hand and the seven golden candlestick. The seven stars are the angels, the angels of the seven churches. 
And the seven candlesticks with thy, with thy sword are the seven churches. This ain't no building. Uh-oh. I didn't mess somebody up. This ain't no building. Two. Unto the angel. Let, let, let. Angel. Is the one that. 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 Oversee. The pastors though. Bishops though. Teachers. Whoever. Those are angels. Those are angels. Those are angels. You, you know that right. I, I, no, I'm not talking about angels flapping no wings. I'm not talking about no, no seraphim and all that. No. I'm talking about down here. I'm talking about down here. Now this is in Ephesus. Wherever you at, that gets you to. DC said he that holds the seven stars in the right hand, who walked in the midst of the seven gold, seven gold couches. Oh Jesus, have you in his hand? Have us in his hand? No, he don't have the world in his hand. He have us, the church. Who walked in the midst of the seven gold? The Jesus, Jesus, Jesus is walking. In the midst of the churches. I ain't talking about no buildings. Jesus walking right now. <laughs> Hallelujah. I know that way. But he, he talking. He saying, I know your way, your labor, your patience, how they how thou canst not bear them which are evil. You can't bear them which are evil. You ain't dealing with them that's evil. Now that, now that, now that knock a lot. You are right there. In the churches from the presiding bishops, church of God in Christ, and everybody else. If the shoe fit well. If it don't, don't worry about it. I ain't talking about you. Jesus ain't talking about you. You angel, you pastors and bitch. Why y'all bring evil folks among us? Why y'all allow evil folks to come among us? Another church, he said, you suffered that woman Jezebel to teach and seduce the brethren to commit fornication and eat these sacrifice to idols. You should, you should, <coughs> you both sit Jezebel down. You both sit the false prophets down. Some of you will say, you, God ain't through your way. Jesus ain't through your way, but he's going to. You couldn't bad them to do evil. Now you tell, come on in, evil. And he tried them with say they apostle. You tried it. I'm an apostle. And you tried it. So they say they apostle and are not and have found them liars. You told them you are lying one. You are a liar. You ain't no apostle. You ain't no servant of Jesus Christ. You a false prophet. You ain't coming up in here. You used to do that once upon a time. You used to do that. Now you say, come on in. I remember they were fault probably didn't fool with us. Now some of y'all tell them, come on in, fault probably, come on in. And teach your false doctrine. And you teach it too. And you found them liar. You had born, had patience for my name's sake, had labor. You ain't fainted. Nevertheless, I have somewhat against you because you left your first love. What's the first love? First John. 
Where did that first look? Four. Hallelujah. And 19. We love him because he first loved us. If a man say I love God and hate his brother, he's a liar. For he that loveth not his brother whom he hath seen, how can he love God whom he hath not seen? And this commandment have we from him, that he who loveth God love also his brother. Chapter 5. Whosoever believes that Jesus is the Christ is born of God. They one that love him that begat, love him that is begotten of him. By this we know that we love the children of God, who we love God and keep his commandment. And this is the love of God that we keep his commandments. You ain't keeping his commandment. You left your first love. You how you leave it? You stop keeping his commandments. He said, come out from among you and be separated. He said, live by every word of God. But you fight the word of God. You say, ain't nobody without sin. We all got sin. You said, ain't nothing wrong with smoking cigarette. Ain't no little cigarette gonna sing you to hell. So you tell folks to take part. You say ain't nobody perfect. Yet you don't give them the remedy. What's the remedy for not being perfect? The remedy is Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ will take away the imperfection. His blood will cleanse you from the imperfection. Which is sin. Jesus' blood clean from all sin. You don't say that. You used to say it. You used to say everything you got to come out. You used to say, uh, uh, you got to be holy. Without spot, wrinkle, or blemish. You used to say that. You don't say that now. You used to say, Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Now you say, Jesus is God. You, le you left your first love. You ain't keeping his commandments. All this stuff. Oh, oh, come, come here, come here, come here. Look what Jesus said. Remember from which thou fallen. Remember from which you fall. You know you ain't where you used to be. You know. Well, what, what, what was I? You know. You started committing sin. You started teaching folks to commit sin. You started teaching folks. Ain't nobody perfect. Ain't nobody without sin. You started teaching folks. You got to keep a Sabbath day and pay tithes off to be saved. And give first fruit off you started teaching folk to sow a seed for your miracle. You started teaching folk to accept Jesus Christ, your personal Savior. You start teaching folk. Repeat out to me the thing of prayer. You started teaching folk. Ain't nobody got no heaven and hell to put you in. You started teaching folk. No matter how bad we been. Jesus is still with us. Yeah, and we see he's still with you. Let, let's show where he ain't going to be with you after a while. You're preaching another gospel. You don't preach repent. You say, yeah, believe he died and rose again. That's all you said. Watch it. Repent, do your first work, or else I will come to thee quickly. This Jesus talking, and remove thy candlestick. The candlestick is the church. He gonna remove, wait a minute, back over the one, the seven stars out of the angel. The seven candlestick with thy sword out of the seven churches. 
He go touch. He gonna move you. He get rid of you if you don't repent. He say, "Accept thou repent." He gonna move the candlestick out of his place. He gonna move you out of the place. You ain't gonna be the church no more. Except you repent. You said word repent. Remember from which thou have fallen. You fail. Well, I better go on. How did you hold go? Hold go move. Go 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 Galatians. Go Galatians. Hallelujah. Five. You fail. Hallelujah. Galatians 5. Uh, chapter 3. I mean, verse 3. For I testify again to every man that is circumcised that he is a devil to keep the whole law. Christ has become of no effect unto you. Whosoever of you are justified by the law, you are fallen from grace. And you tell folks, you got to keep the Sabbath day. You got to give first fruit offering. You got to give tithes and offering. You fail from grace. Christ has become of no effect. You fail from grace. You use the teeth. Be holy. You use the teeth. Jesus said be perfect. You don't say it no more. You actually lie and say ain't nobody perfect. You lied on Jesus. You told a lie on Jesus. The only way to be saved is through the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's through Jesus that you be saved. And Jesus told you what to do to be saved. Jesus said, believe him. Jesus said, repent. Jesus said, your deeds are evil. You hate the light. You didn't come to the light. For if you come to the light, your deed will be reproved. You remember from when you, when you have fallen. It, it was a time when wasn't no false prophet coming among us. You wouldn't dare bring no false prophet among you, among us. But you do it now. It's no other gospel. Jesus, Jesus is the Son of God. All right, you apostolic faith. Mm hmm. Uh, yeah. You were told to let the false prophet be a curse. You don't do that now. You say, come on, false prophet. In the tendency. Oh, which one is it? I, I think in the metropolitan ecclesiastical jurisdiction. They convocation. Todd Hall, the known false prophet, is one of the speakers. You fail. That's a fault, and you know your false prophet. You fail in other false prophets. Some I don't know about, but y'all know about them. Jesus see you. Hold it, wait a minute. Jesus see you. He said you're going to remove the candlestick. Jesus is the Son of God. Some of you used to believe that. But you did just like G.T. Haywood. When G.T. Haywood followed that false prophet, <coughs> Bishop Ewart. <coughs> and he started teaching that false apostolic doctrine. <coughs> Jesus Christ is God. Then loss of which was Bishop G.T. Haywood's driver came preaching it. Then Johnson came from Lawson and Goodwin and all the rest of you and Geno Jennings. You failed. Someone alerted me. You know we get alerts on the phone. 
Williams, he don't just read them. He believed that Jesus Christ was the son, is the son of God. And, 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 and he said, Gino Jennings asked him, who come back for you? And William said, Jesus Christ. William was right. He was right. The Bible says it. <coughs> and, and he said, Gino told him, well, Jesus Christ, is, which is God Almighty, coming back for me. And he called William to leave the scripture. That he believed. <coughs> you failed. How you gonna let somebody call you to leave the script? What kind of mess is that? I know, I know, I know. What kind of mess is that? Pe pe people with people with Johnson. And Gino don't ever take Johnson. They plead with the say the Bible said this. If I thought what Bishop John said, these folks don't believe the scriptures. They believe they bishop. Kind of mess is that? You fail. Remember from which thou hast fallen. And what did he say? <clears throat> Go back. Go back. I need to show you this. Revelation. And repent. Except you repent, he gonna move the counts they got in the plate. That means he gonna move you. But this thou had. Thou hated the deeds of Nicolaia, to which I also hate. Now, you got that right. You gotta do everything right. You hate the deeds of Nicolaia, to which I also hate. Huh? Now, over, over, in, over, over at the church in Pergamos, the 15, it say, so thou hast also them that hold the doctrine of Nicolaus, which I hate. Fall on down, 14, uh, 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 you have them there that hold the doctrine of Baal. The other one, you saw that woman Jezebel to, 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 to teach. You tried them with said they were Jews. But they are the said the God of said. The other, the church and lay and lay on the seal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Church and lay on the seal. You you say, you're lukewarm. You say, I don't have no need of nothing. I'm rich. I have no need of that. Say so you don't even know that you ratchet. Some of you were saying, some of your some of your pastors were saying, don't some of the older ones died out and the young educated fools came in. You don't listen to them, you let them be a curse. He said, I'm going to move you. Or doesn't say, I'm going to spew you out of my mouth. Or doesn't say, I'm going to fight against you with the sword of my mouth. Jesus saying all these people. You, you stick. The only true gospel is the gospel of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ's blood that cleanses us from sin. Jesus Christ. God raised Jesus from the dead. Jesus is on the right hand of the Father. Jesus is alive. He's the son of God. Gino and all of them. Don't follow these false prophets. You come, come, come back. He, repent now. Don't you follow Gino? Don't you? Don't you follow Bishop Charles Blake? And Linwood Dillon. That have these false prophets. Invite these false prophets among us. Don't follow them. Don't you follow them. You let the false prophet be a curse. You follow Jesus Christ. Don't let me say. 
Jesus said, I came not to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Repent. Believe Jesus Christ. His blood is shed for the remission of your sins. Of the New Testament. For, yeah, I keep the law. I, and, and I could go on with it, but I'm going to cut it short. One and remember from what you fallen. I'm, I'm bringing back to your remember what that you don't forget. You were shouting over it. It had pray break over it. You're no good and well, you don't sow no seed for no milk. You're no good and well, you don't block by no blessed handkerchief and proud blankets. Like monument of faith, Richard D. Hinton, that failed. He know better. He knew he day and night. He knew better. Start setting proud blanket. Bishop Posey, I guess you're still alive. Bishop Posey, you know better. Set a proud proud claw. Hallelujah. And they get they they the assembly that I attend regularly, locally, oh they get it. They get it. They get they get it from me. <clears throat> A lot of them in there hold to it, but they not vocal as I am. Remember from which you have fallen. Jesus said, You're going to hell, man, woman, if you don't repent. You're going to hell. They tell you not, they tell you not, you know, he will hold the preacher. Ain't nobody got no heavy hell, hell to put you in. Some, somebody called me and asked me one time. And me by a certain preacher. What about him? Do he preach? Right? I say sometimes he do it, sometimes he don't. Depending on how he feel. Some folks pre-write sometimes, and sometimes they don't. Some folks pre-write at home, but when it comes to the convocation, they play money game, they be with the rest of the fall prophet. You better follow Jesus Christ. Live the way he told you to live, people. He told you to live holy. He told you go sin no more. Be born again. He put his spirit in you. His nature in you. Ain't no sin in his nature. And if you follow him, you will not sin. If you follow him, you sin when you get distracted. Like I told people in my chat. I'll, I'll say one thing on Facebook. And, 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 when I'm, and when I'm in person, I quiet down. Oh, no. Yesterday they were talking about the covenant relationship between Jonathan and David. Jonathan and David dead. What about your relationship with Jesus Christ? What about your covenant relationship with Jesus Christ? When you sin, you broke the covenant. Just like you didn't matter. When your husband or your wife cheat on you, they broke the covenant. You better repent. You left your first love. <clears throat> You're not keeping his commandments. You breaking his commandments. You're breaking his commandments. You better repent. Oh, oh, you see it. You, you see it. I hear it. I hear it. You see it. Somebody will tell me that that that, that will tell me that they download. They download the video and, and, and put them on the other sites. Oh, you see it. Fear for your shadow with anybody. You better come. You you better. It. You ain't gonna make the excuse y'all give. You, Gia they have the excuse. You ain't gonna give him no excuse. You ain't gonna be blamed. Pastor, bishop, apostle. You won't have no excuse. You that say you know the way. You that truly been saved. 
you know the way. God gonna get rid of you. You're going to hell. Revelation 21 and 8. You ain't you ain't go you ain't going to the kingdom of God. You're going to the lake of fire brimstone, you bear a pair of your seat. God bless you. Thank you for real. All right.